All right, we're here at Smith River Shootout, right? We are so happy to see Jason Moon here at this point in this beast. He has had an epic journey, I'll tell you. Starting off at King of the Hammers, right? He's got motor problems, he's got, oh, let's back up. We've got Top Truck Challenge. He's got axles, nine of them, I believe, in one competition. Who does that? Jason Moon. Carries on to King of the Hammers, right? Has motor problems. Carries on to the next competition. He has transmissions from one problem after another. So far today at Smith River Shootout, he has made it to the final competition, which is an epic journey for him. He's gonna hit this, he's gonna complete it, and this is gonna be a, a, a beautiful finale for him. I even heard he might rip off his clothes and do a little dance for us, right? We're gonna see what he does when he goes and nails it.
I don't know. We've had some issues with steering. Um, we ended up taking the front pump off. It had a, t a TC pump on it, and we put a CBR pump on it. Um, built a new bracket for that, and then uh, we built a passenger side um, bracket for the rear pump. So it was a little bit of a, a struggle getting the belt straight and keeping it on before we left, but <clears throat> it worked out pretty good until uh, until we lost the pulley on the front pump. Oh, so it was a pulley that was uh, the cause of that. Yeah, the pulley was the cause of that. Stripped out in there, the bearings are just laying down in there. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I don't... That cage right there came apart. Allowed all of them to just float around in there, so... Um, need to get it cleaned up. We'll see what exactly if this is all buggered too, but I'm sure it is. I like it, it looks super hard. Um, that's what I'm here for, that's what I want to compete on is hard stuff. Have you broke anything today or this? Not yet, <laughs> so it's not over yet.
minutes, everybody. So we, we, you're like the the suburban taxi. Taxi. He's the Uber. Yeah. He's the oh, Uber, Uber. exactly. I wish there we I could go. Uber, but my rig is too old. <laughs> well, that's that's why we don't pay anything. <laughs> you just have to take us there. Yeah. <laughs> There's no you negotiation. There is no payment. payment. No. I like this. I like this forerunner up here. Yeah, he, he does Super. really well in it too. He does actually. Like, you look so excited. <laughs> I'm just happy because I'm driving my square body. You know, have you noticed how many square bodies there are actually? Yes, there are a few. Surprisingly. I, I, I mean, you'd be excited cab, about The crew it. cab, I, yeah. was, I was very happy. I mean, he made it up over those tires. Like, Except for that he broke it. Well, you know, you gotta pay to play. Yeah, you do. You know, and a lot of these guys have to pay a lot of money. Like, like, look, there's yeah. good Speaking of that one, did you see that one run earlier where he lost his battery? Yes. Oh no! Oh, I thought he's not the one on eggs. <laughs> no, oh, no, I think that's his dad one. or something. I think they're that's like Hunter. father and son. Oh, Hunter. that's cool. Hunter Pilgrim. James, we're gonna be a father and son team someday. Working on getting James's truck, first truck already. Nice. Where are we going? I'm. Uh, we going all the way to the end, right? Oh, are you? Uh, you I'm gonna go. To go? The end. Oh well, I'll, I'll I'll take this stop okay. because I gotta charge batteries because. Oh. Yes, charge. Yeah. Where are you charging? Alan's losing life. Where am I charging? Yeah, where's your truck? No, it's right, uh, no I'm fine, I'm fine. Look, well, the taxi didn't actually get you to your destination. No, yeah, but this is the stop. <laughs> There's no tip required. Isn't it? All right, yeah. thanks, Alan. <laughs> Thank you. Another belt, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. But what do you think it is now? I haven't changed anything. It should create a belt problem. I think uh, the fact that we just keep throwing the same couple of belts back on. We actually have two brand new belts here that we didn't have here earlier today. So I'm just going to put a new belt on it. A real new belt. You know, not one that we've been trying to reuse. Oh, so the last uh, canyon was another used belt. Yeah, that, was, a, belt. that oh. was another one that I was afraid. I, You know, I was pretty sure it had been kicked off once before. And you know as well as I do, when a belt gets thrown like that, they're usually something's damaged where they uh, want to roll over or pitch them off of there. This one seems to like to throw them in the dirt. So yeah, in this last event, we just I crawled back there and had Ben bump it over while I rolled it back on the pulley, and I just drove the rest of the event like it was going to throw the belt and try and be conservative and stayed on there. So tomorrow, or tonight, we'll put a new belt on it. Tomorrow we'll... Go try it out. And if it throws a brand new belt when I go home, I know I've got something to look for. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll see you tomorrow at the next competition. Yep. Sounds good. The belt. I think, well, I think it was just letting the pump flex in and that's pitch enough. the belt. Yeah. Well, the belt looked good, but it hits the belt. And we know that that doesn't normally uh, fare too well for belts. Yeah. No theory. <laughs> so when we come back, I had that belt, which still looked fun. Yeah. That belt that I. You learn from Steven. Get out there and pull that winch line. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fix that flat tire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, yep. Lost a tire today and then two over there. Yeah. It was it was made a point earlier that he had blown no tires thus far. Yeah. All day, all weekend, until he made the claim to fame. And there we are. I'm sure he'll be driving to Sullivan to get one. Already for co-driving already? Yes. <laughs> ready for co-driving. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> like, he can actually like reach this now. Oh, right so here. try and tell us that he wants oh, to. Yeah. Oh, see it right here, dude? Oh, yeah. He pinched it on the rim. Oh. That's okay. like, you know, that's how, uh, that's how the big tires on these guys. Like, get them. In the front the tire? Side, well, I didn't. Well, 
Oh, yeah, this one. Ooh. It was a previous repair. And then, right? and then it got <laughs> cut again. Now I'm hitchhiking. I offered up a. Never mind. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, We're just in the slow train right now. I don't know if I'm wanted. This is like the anti, anti GM GM. Oh look at it. GM not by us. Yeah. Anti GM. Anti -GM. Who's anti GM? Oh, Leroy just cares not to speak about it. Well, you don't. It's not like you're driving an LS. No, no, no. But Mom there was a discussion of an LS swap. Well. Oh. I do have a 5.3 at home. Don't talk about that. Yeah, me. I'm not going to. All right. I'm a high class rig here. Turn All right. Oh, wait. Yeah, you got to find the custom speed spot because it's usually over here, right here. Today we're going right there. And um, let's see. And we've also shut off the lift pump and the safety feature. Now no one can start the truck. Ah. Top secret until it's Top all over secret. the internet. Uh, I, think I think everyone I, hears the hood about 20 times a day. I think I just stepped Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh that, it was dirty. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. uh, That's horrible. Now. Gotta change my shoes now. <laughs> I, I thought that sign up there when the pole was there, I thought it said Moist Brothers. Oh yeah, the oh, Moist Brothers. Boy. Those yeah. guys. So it's the third and final day of the competition. And by the end of the day, we're gonna find out who qualified for Mountain Havoc 2019, as well as High Desert Top Truck. So, let's check out a few things this morning before everything gets going. Well, we have a loaner because loaners don't cost anything, <laughs> but potentially we have this high class rig right here that's the one that he has to pay for for the day. How much did it cost you? Not mine. I know that. How much did it cost you for Jeff to let you sit in it? A beer? A half a beer? Probably a beer. Yeah, he's cheap. <laughs> It doesn't look like a pumpkin. Well, it, it looked like you're pumpkin with a jack o' lantern and we cut the teeth out? Because look at that jaggedness. I'd say there's a few teeth. I mean, there has definitely been a few teeth missing off the inside of that pumpkin more than a few times. <laughs> and if I bet you if he kept driving it, it would glow too. Just like a jack o' lantern. Look, he's got pumpkin orange on the outer ends. See, if this was orange, it looked like a pumpkin. Yeah. We could put jack o' lanterns on it. Let's see what he does during Halloween. <laughs> Square body. Oh gosh. He got to that last competition where he had the big stair step. I was wondering how he was going to attack it. He just attacked it and he went right over it. But then that V notch, <laughs> that dirt notch, it, it cost him what? An axle shaft? Did he pop the drive shaft out there? I think so, yes. Yeah, I think he had to put They got it back together yeah. now. That's his old trim pieces. No. Oh, look, what year do you think it was now? We're, I'm thinking 80, oh, about Silverado. In 80s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely 80s. The rest of the trim package is hard I, to say. I, I, Why is there so many switches? Well, because he's got all kinds of things going on. <laughs> See, look, he even kept the stock door latches and the, and the uh, armrests. Oh, look, he cut them out. 
Oh no. Well, we just grafted it to half of the inside outside. It's the just the door skin. Yeah. If anyone's ready for this, Shrek is. Oh man, he's firing up the chainsaw now. Let's get ready. The sun's coming out and everyone's awake now. Oh man, the kids even have a bouncy castle. What do you want? What are we doing today? Day three at Esley Creek Ranch at the Smith River Shootout. The whole effing farm day. Uh, starting in Canyon 1, Canyon 2, Canyon 3, coming back, finishing up the whole effing farm. buggy what is the strategy that should be used you just force it just force it just force it vehicular vehicular violence violence yeah. yep. we like just that. jackhammer right on through where the forcing it comes into play yeah, yeah. so I want I'd like to interview Brooke after this she knows all about forcing just forcing it in okay I didn't even see what happened. What happened? Well, <laughs> we should have went a little bit more to the passenger side. We just kind of slipped off the top, slipped upside down, and I lost enough training fluid that it was better to call it than to keep going. We have definitely killed some power steering belts uh, this weekend at the Smith River Shootout. It's, uh, I think we're probably six, seven buggies with broken power steering, a um, couple with some oil pans. So we've, we've definitely had some carnage this weekend. <laughs> Man, Justin have almost rolled it again right there, but he saved it. And now he actually did roll it. So they're gonna push him back on over and send him on his way. And there he goes again. All right, time to push him back over one more time. So what about Jason Moon? Well, ever since, I mean, he ha I haven't seen an axle failure with these techs since um, since he's put them in. I mean, we saw him last on Rockwell's at Top Truck, and he was snapping shafts left and right. First event, a tow test, just going up the hill. He blew, I think, one, maybe two. Pulled into the tank trap, blew three, I believe, in the tank trap, right getting into Squeeze Rock, and he was sitting there just burning one tire for a while. They hooked up to... Uh, I think it was Dodge 5500 and started to drag the 5500 in, so they gave up and he just kept breaking shafts, but it's, it's great to see him uh, be able to just feed on it and it hold together.
Justin, he's had a, a great week so far. Um, I haven't seen any mistakes out of him except for just one little one that didn't cost him. And his rigs run really well. And with his seat time and his, and his experience and a little bit of luck, I think he's going to win a Havoc spot. On, in Sunday's race, we uh, we made it to the second canyon log slide, and I hit the, the log slide a little too aggressively, and ended up in the hole behind it, nose first, and bent the lower link, which took out the brake caliper, which is why I ended up having to stop. Um, the power glide held up wonderfully. I beat on it all weekend with no mercy. So uh, super happy with that. We'll fix this and uh, go to Havoc and try to get my spot there at the qualifier. Uh, high Desert, I, as of now, I am first alternate. So I will haul my stuff there and be ready if they need me. It's time for the award ceremony. Oh, quick sneak peek at a list here. We're going to start at first place. We're not doing the third to second to first. We're going first place, warfare class. Stephen Mopass, come on up. Welcome to Havoc 2019. Got your spot locked in, my man. Co-driver Jeremy Moore. It's a team effort. Congratulations, boys. Glad you're coming back. Justin Beck, second place. Welcome to Havoc 19. <laughs> oh, yeah. Justin's going to be strutting tonight. Guarantee. Look at that. Sasquatch walking on up. Congratulations. Thank you guys for coming. Don't forget your package. Another earned spot for Justin Beck. Mount Havoc 2019. Third place. That goes to Brad Harrell. We're looking for George Black, though. They wanted George Black to come up here. Where'd you go, Brad? We got a big old payout for these guys. These guys all get paid. Brad's giving his money right back to George for this park. Put that money right back in George's pocket. One more badass. There's a Justin Half renamed Badass Award. We're going to give the Justin Half Badass Award to Justin Half. Congratulations, Justin. You have now won the Justin Half Badass Award. Cool. Put your hands together again for Justin. He's going above and beyond trying to grow this sport, do it properly. A lot of respect for that. Thank you, everybody. I just appreciate being involved. Hey, I was driving him with a beer for the answer. So, how do you feel? Great, man. Come here with all these freaking killer rigs and killer drivers. Just, it's awesome, man. We locked in our spot for Havoc. That was our number one goal, so taking first is just even better. All right, well, congratulations. Right. Thank you, guys. How do you feel? Feels Second. great, man. Second place, right in my spot. <laughs> Ran good, put on a good show for the crowd. Thank you. How do you feel? Oh, it was an amazing weekend. How do you feel about winning? Second place. Uh, the most fun I ever had, and I won second place. I am super excited. 
What are you having to do? Truck all this stuff out of here? I'm gonna haul it home. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. It's like Christmas, only different. <laughs> I've never won any prizes before. It's kind of cool. I don't even know how to work this thing, but I'm sure. I'll pick it up. Together. But see, when, Wait, I have to when two souls come together and they realize they have to leave each other, there's a certain sadness that comes across. <laughs> but we know we will, we will see each other again. There will be. And that brightens my day. Me too. Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, you beautiful boss. <laughs> well, it's time to head out. And Dale, Ricky, and Lisa are headed out now. I'm going to follow shortly enough after them. I'm on my way back now to Jeremy Brown's shop. Gotta stop in here and pick up my trailer and the parts truck that I bought. And start getting ready to head on home. It's been a good trip. Everything has gone really well. But now, of course, the truck just randomly dies in the middle of a bridge of all places. And not just any bridge, but a bridge that's reduced down to one lane because of road construction. So essentially, I am or was blocking the entire lane. I finally got kind of pushed and rolled over far enough to barely get traffic by. The truck will not start. I don't know why. It cranks over fine. I'm out of charged batteries to keep on trying. I'm getting fuel. I think I'm getting fuel. I'm going to try the lift pump first. I'm really out of options with the tools and the parts that I have available, so there's not much I can do here but try to get traffic past. State Patrol came by and commandeered a U-Haul truck. Thankfully to this person driving the truck, he was kind enough to let us hook on and pull me to the next so, exit. I'm stranded for the night. I got my free at the Portland swap meet light. I got the stuff that I bought on my trip. This bank stuff and that truck that doesn't run. So I got my bed made for the night. I've got food, drinks, and supplies left over from the last week in this trip. And unfortunately, with the parts truck that I have and the other parts and pieces and tools, I do not have enough stuff to MacGyver my way out of this situation. So I'm going to have to figure this out in the morning. I head to bed for the night on the side of the road.